Hey guys, I said I'd make another video. I try and keep them short and sweet. Uh, I don't like these long videos that elaborate on 4 million things. I'm a very simple guy. Like I said, I'm an average Joe. The first thing I want to say is uh, safety when you're working with hydrogen, obviously. I was very stupid the other day. Uh, I put a little hose on my bubbler and I was testing my blowtorch and Obviously my flashback arrest wasn't that good and this was the result You can see here. This was the bubbler. Obviously my brother and my father are engineers So the first thing they said to me is why were you using a glass? Uh, bubbler instead of a plastic bubbler. This is sort of what it looked like. It's just an outdoor light fitting Okay, and I've just found that the Using the lid is fairly simple. I put a bit of silicon on the top there I Drill two holes, it, the, the gas goes in and out and the water obviously purifies it and takes uh, whatever it needs to take out. And as I said, I lit the little blowtorch just to test it out and I lost my hearing for three days. So yeah, and I had a few pieces of glass stuck in my head as well. So when it comes to HHO, just remember hydrogen is not flammable, it is explosive. It is very, very dangerous. So, whenever you play with hydrogen, make sure you, <laughs> you don't stuff around. So, I learned the hard way, but luckily, yeah, it wasn't that severe. But there was glass everywhere, and it wasn't funny. So, yeah, that's just coming back to hydrogen and being safe. Remember that all circuitry can have and does have static on it. Uh, a lot of things produce small sparks. Uh, if your connections aren't good, you will get small sparks. I'll run a video again just now on one of my other wet cells that was actually arcing underwater. And uh, that is also extremely dangerous because uh, then you can actually ignite the hydrogen that's inside your bubbler or your cell and obviously your cell will explode. If it's made out of plastic, it's safe, but if it's made out of glass, then you do tend to get a bit of shrapnel all over the place. And it's not nice getting glass in your head. So yeah, just coming back to safety, Whenever you're testing stuff and if you're doing it in an enclo enclosed environment, obviously the best is if you can do it outside, that's not always a viable option. So I always play around in my garage, you can see I like to work with my hands. I'm always, I'm forever building stuff and, you know, testing out things. So yeah, hydrogen has been a hobby of mine for four years now.